Hi, I'm Doug from First Tech. In today's segment of My First Tech Academy, we're going to talk about reverse polarity circuits. So for this example, I have an actuator, which requires a reverse polarity circuit for it to operate. I have two relays that I've just taped together, and I've prepared some wires here to allow us to build this relay right here in front of you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the relays. So I've taped two of them together because reverse polarity obviously requires two relays because you need the polarity to reverse. That's the whole premise of a reversing polarity circuit is you can change the polarity from negative to positive and back using those relays. So we're going to start by a giving our relays a fused 12 volt constant input. So you'll notice that I have four spade connectors prepared here. So two pins on each one of the relays is going to receive 12 volt input. So on our relays, we're going to give pin 85 and pin 87 a constant 12 volt input. So we'll go ahead and attach our 12 volt input source to all four of those pins. So both pin 85s and both pin 87s on the relays need a constant 12 volts. So it looks like this. So that's your 12 volt input. I've also prepared a ground input with two spade connectors because in a reverse polarity setup, you're going to send ground to pin 87A on both relays. So once you attach those, it looks like so. So you've got your ground and your constant power input right here. The other thing that I've prepared is a lock harness. So this is our six pin fixed output lock harness that plugs into the back of all of our brains. So I've just put spade connectors on the lock wire, which is the blue black, and the unlock wire, which is blue. So those will be attached to pin 85 of the relay, which is the opposite side of the coil from the 12 volts. So therefore allowing the brain to trigger those circuits. So once I've done that, I've got this connector. I've got a CMX brain right here wired up. I'm going to just plug in my lock connector to the brain. I'm going to connect my ground input to the power supply. And I'm going to connect my 12 volt input as well to the power supply. You'll notice that the brain is also powered with those two outputs from the power supply that's under the bench here. So now we've got our relays built. The only pins left open are pins, the pins 30 on both relays. So what you will do is you will just attach the blue lead, which is the unlock from the actuator to the relay that has the blue wire attached to pin 85. And the green wire will go to pin 30 on the relay that has the blue black for lock. And for demonstration purposes, I'll just go ahead and I'll press unlock on the remote. You'll notice that the actuator unlocks. And then if I press lock, you'll see that the actuator locks. So that's all there is to it. Reverse polarity.